Hey guys, this is Arfa9070 here. Welcome back to more. Let's play Coldcept. Uh, I'm just gonna show off the my book and the new cards right here. But uh, before we do that, in the last recording, we fought a against Leo, who suspected us of killing his sister in a different world. And I have no knowledge about this, so. And it looks like it, there might be an imposter of me out there that did try to kill it. But anyways, in this recording, uh, before I start off the next board, I'm just gonna show off the new cards I have. Uh, I grinded out uh, a few more cards again before recording this, just for one battle. So I'll show off what I have right here right now. Uh, first off, oh, shit, what the f Hang on. Okay. I think it's good right now. Okay, so this card, Cerberus. Uh, this card is pretty, this creature is pretty good. It attacks two times per battle, as the description says. Uh, it has good enough HP to take hits. Um, the, that 20 strength isn't much, but since it attacks two times, it, its base strength is more like 40 than 20. Uh, if, of course, if you use like an, uh, an, an offensive item, of course, it does a ton of damage as well. As long as you ma manage to kill the creature, as long as the creature doesn't have like a neutralization against Cerberus attacks, it's a really good card. I re definitely recommend it on a green creature card or earth creature cards. And this one I added to my book, Roadrunner. Uh, first attack, and it's also able to move two spaces while using creature move command on on the board. Uh, it pretty much has the same stats as Giant Bad, but it's a bit costier. But of course, that first attack, first attack helps, and also can move more on the board, so it's pretty good. Dynamite strength plus 60, but the only drawback from it is that you, the, the, the creature will be destroyed after battle. So be mindful of that. It's more of a, like a suicide mission to use this item. I don't really recommend it that. Really, unless you're like, unless you use it just right. Neutral amulet is strange. It changes the creature's element to neutral and is treated as a neutral creature during battle. It, it'll also recycle back to the book after use. I'm not exactly sure why would you want to use this item, honestly, because uh, it doesn't affect your strength. It. it for HP, it definitely does affect you if you're on the defense, but on offense, I'm not exactly sure what the point of this is. Well, I guess, I mean, not that I'm more thinking about it, there are some creatures that have more neutralizations and critical hits against certain elemental creatures, so it could be useful for that. Defense, I don't think it's that useful. Offense, well, maybe on defense it could be useful. Offense, there might be some uses, but I don't know. I don't really, for myself, I don't really see the point of using this. Phoenix Amulet recycles the user's hand if destroyed, if creature is destroyed. So the creature is pretty much, you know, as the title goes, is from the creature Phoenix. If this destroyed, it pretty much gets revived. But for this game, it gets back into your book, so that's pretty useful. Can be useful if you don't want your creature to be gone after battle, but I don't know. It, for me, it just takes takes up more space on my book to it, and choose and, and not be able to choose like more useful items. But that's just me. Anyways, Acid Rain gets further damage to all defense creatures. Well, it's more of a sense of uh, defense as in the name on the creature. The creature you can't use on offense can be used in some situations, but I don't know. Can be destructive if you also use defense creatures. If you don't, this could be your guy. There might be some situations where it could be useful. It's pretty much an evil blast against all defense creatures, basically, and cheaper too. So okay, feast. That I also added this to my book. All the scepters will gain the number of territories they each own times 50 of magical powers. So it's pretty much mana, but except. Except with uh, lap bonuses, you have territory, and it also uh, gives effect to other scepters as well, so it can be useful in certain situations. 
Judgment. Uh, this one's uh, kind of risky to use. The target scepter or the casting scepter will lose 80% of their magical powers in a two point either point or two or two to one ratio. So there is some situations where you will lose uh, G if you're unlucky. So I don't know. I don't really recommend it that much. It's really risky. Uh, Lake Leap. I could have added this to the book, but I don't know. I have other spells that find them, that I find them more useful than this one. It basically lets you. Um, uh, it moves you to a nearby water space, but you lose a turn. Uh, but you won't be able to use it on you. Roll your dice on your turn, so. Eh. It's more useful for gaining certain lands. And vitality. During battle, target creature strength increases. Strength HP increases by 20. Can be useful, but I don't know. I'm not that big of a fan. So, I don't know. Uh, there are a few, a few other cards that I gain over. Um, over the course of a few battle, battles. I don't think I've showed that doppelganger. Transforms into the same creature as the opponents during battle. I don't know. It could be used on such certain situations, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. Cyclops. I think I showed this off. Uh, just in case if I didn't show this off, Ebony Idol. It's also a defense item. All idols. Of course, I think I mentioned this last time. They're all defense creatures. They all have 20 HP. But their abilities are different. Each of them have different abilities. If played, all the creatures will not be able to use territory ability. Uh, I don't think I've shown, shown a giant rat though. First attack is pretty much a really weak creature. It doesn't cost any G, but yeah. I don't find it that useful, honestly. Uh, let's see. Let me show. I think I showed that off already. Rave, I think so. Zombie, I haven't showed this one yet. Decrease. Of 20 HP at the end of battle. It has 50 base HP. Max HP, but every battle loses HP. And you, you won't be. And you, you can only gain back those H HP by getting lap bonuses. So I don't really recommend using this one. Honestly. Uh, let's see. Domoviha. I think it's what it's called. Domoviha. If you press triangle, it tells you what the uh, card is called or is spelled. It casts land protection to the target creature. It costs 70 G, but yeah. It's pretty much a creature that has the turtle ability of casting infinite land protections to many creatures as long as they have G to do it. So it can be useful in certain situations. Executor has 70 base strength, but he has low HP. You have to discard a card to use it, and you can't use uh, items that are marked as, you know, with the sword. There are some strength items that have more, like, showed off as rings, but I don't know. Those cards are kind of rare. I don't really recommend using Executor. Personally, because of the low max HP, unless you have like grow body, which can increase the uh, the creature's max HP by a certain amount by 10 max HP in terms of body uh, growth body. There are other max HP spells that you can use, but I'll I think I'll get them later on. Not sure if I showed off fanatic, but. Eh, it's meh. I don't know. I don't find it that useful. Larva, larvae, or larvae. Larvae. There we go. If you use the holes, three more cards than the opposite scepter. Pretty much increases strength HP by twenty. Eh, those are kind of rare, honestly. I don't know if I want to show off all the items here because uh, I've already gone for ten minutes of this episode, and I don't want to do this like forever. So, I don't know. These are the creatures I have entirely. Uh, let's see, in terms of items I could show off, the ones that I think are good, 
Emerald Ring. I think I showed that off already. Uh, Squall Attack, Freeze, Strength, Equal Sweaty, and Critical Hits of Fire Creatures. Mm, let's see. I don't think I showed off Sleep yet. It's a Squall Attack or Scroll Effect and does Sleep does a spell of sleep to the opponent. Sleep isn't that useful, honestly. Overall, uh, ooh, I don't think I showed an avalanche. I don't think. Does 30 damage to all creatures positioned in level 5 territory, so. It's, it's very costly, but it can be useful on certain creatures. But I don't know. I think, uh. Oh, I don't know. Whether or not it's more useful than Evil Blast is. It depends on the situation. Barrier, I think. I don't know. I could show it off for the next five rounds. The target scepter cannot be attacked by spell or territory ability other than this spell. Uh, I don't know what else I have here that could be useful. I don't think I showed a gravity. All scepters die roll is one. That can be good on certain scepters. It has on all scepters, but you could use it on. For some certain situations that could affect other scepters. Uh, plague effect of poison to all of the creatures in the area. I mean, only affects them in battle, the poison, but yeah, you could do that in certain areas of the game. Pressure lowers the symbol value by 30%. We'll actually be able, we're gonna get into symbols in just a bit here. Because <laughs> finally, after 12 minutes of of this, I, we're finally getting into this. I don't know if I want to keep that as a separate video, but I don't know. There you go. Uh, 